myself bolleda devanandra working as associate professor in the department of csc mlr institute of technology hyderabad today's topic is simple type checker specification of a simple type checker specification of a simple type checker for a simple language in which the type of the an identifier must be declared before an identifier is used so any variable before using that variable you have to declare that variable in any program then the type checker is a translation scheme that synthesizes the type of each expression from the type of its sub expression that means type checker will add the translation scheme that is semantic actions will be added to the program grammar rules and also synthesizes the type of the expression from the type of its sub expressions the type checker can handle arrays pointers and uh, statements functions specification of a simple type checker includes the following simple language type checking of expressions type checking of statements type checking of functions the following grammar generates programs represented by non terminal p consisting of sequence of declarations d and followed by a single expression e see here p representing a program p derives d semicolon e this is the rule grammar rule p representing a program program will contain declarations followed by semicolon followed by expression this d derives another declaration d represents declaration this d derives another declaration semicolon another declaration so that we can declare any number of variables in a sequence finally d derives identifier identifier is a variable identifier followed by colon followed by t t representing type of the identifier type of the variable what type of the variable t derives character t derives integer t derives array or array of number of number of elements of type t and pointer type t e representing expression expression may be literal expression may be number or identifier or expression sub expression e mod e or e derives e square bracket within square bracket there is an expression this expression will represent type of the elements in the array this is pointer expression this is the grammar rule this grammar will generate the productions these productions will generate p representing program representing program containing declarations followed by single expression so for this grammar rules we have to add the translation schemes that is semantic actions for the grammar rules p derives d semicolon e as usual d derives declaration semicolon another declaration then d derives id colon t that means by using add type function we can add the type of the variable to id type of the identifier to the in the symbol table in the symbol table the in the symbol table i there is a entry for the identifier for that identifier we can add the type of that variable type of variable means any type t derives character or t t derives integer t derives uh, float like that t derives character the semantic action is t dot type is character t derives integer t dot type is integer t derives pointer t1 that is t dot type is pointer of t1 dot type here this pointer pointing to objects of type integer next t derives array of number of t1 this number is index that is number of elements in the array t1 representing representing the type of the elements then t dot type is array of 1 to num dot value that means here we can represent array of n number of elements of type t1 this is simple language then type checking of expressions in the following rules the attribute type for e gives the type expression assigned to the type type expression assigned to the expression generated by e for example e derives literal literal is any character or constant so that e dot e dot type is character e derives num that means e dot type is integer number means integer here constants represented by tokens token literals and num have type character and integer next e derives id 
is a rule. The semantic action that is translation rule is e dot type is lookup of id dot entry. That means lookup of e is used to fetch the type of the saved symbol in the symbol table. That means saved type from the symbol table pointed to by uh, e. That means e dot entry there is a symbol table entry there we can uh, variable type is stored that we can fetch that uh, identifier type from the symbol table as into this e dot type. Then e derives e1 mod e2. e dot type is if e1 dot type is integer and e2 dot type is integer then integer else type error. For example, mod operation for mod operation both the operands must be of type integer. So, that e dot type is if e1 dot type and e2 dot type is both are integer then return the return type is integer that is assigned to e dot type else type error. Then e derives e1 of e2 that is array e dot type is if e2 dot type is integer then e1 dot type is array of s comma t then t else type error that means the expression e2 within the bracket gives the type of the expression that is integer then e1 dot type is array of s comma t s is the range of elements t is the type of the elements so this t is given by expression within the square bracket then t is written else type error in an array reference e1 of e2 the index expression e2 must have type integer the index expression must have type integer the result is the element type t element type t obtained from the type array of s comma t of e1 then e derives e1 up arrow that is a pointer that is e dot type is if e1 dot type is pointer of t then t else type error the postfix operator this operator that is up arrow yields the object pointed by its operand the type of e arrow is the type of the object pointed to by the uh, pointer e then last one type checking of statements statements do not have values hence the basic type is void can be assigned to them if an error is detected within a statement then type error is assigned translation scheme for checking the type statements here there is a assignment statement id is equal to e id means any identifier like a is equal to b plus c b plus c is expression a is identifier so b plus c is assigned to a so he, here it is a statement a is equal to b plus c is a statement s derives id is equal to e that means s dot type is if id dot type is equal to e dot type then void else type error because statement does not contain value its uh, type is void then conditional statement s derives if e then s1 if expression e return is boolean that is s dot type is if e1 e dot type is boolean then s1 dot type else type error that means if expression is true s1 will be executed next while statement it is same as like uh, conditional statement if while e s derives while e do s1 that means s dot type is if e dot type is boolean then s1 dot type else type error next sequence of statements that means s1 followed by s2 s derives s1 semicolon s2 s dot type is if s1 dot type is wide and s2 dot type is wide then wide else type error then type checking of functions the rule for checking the type of a function application e derives e1 of e2 that is e1 of e2 e dot type is e, if e2 dot type is s and e1 dot type is s2 t then t else type error that means here s is the domain s is the domain t is range here e1 dot type this function will take argument from re, uh, domain represented by expression e2 that is if e2 dot type is s that is the domain and e1 dot type is there is a uh, domain is s and range is t then t only else type error thank you